Books to help you dive down the birth chart alchemy rabbit hole, Gates edition. First up is The Gene Keys by Richard Rudd. I love Rudd's transmission of the gates as existing along this spectrum of energy. And he does a fantastic job of describing how we can move from the shadow to the gift to the city of each gate, which he calls a gene key. Personally, I would not read this from cover to cover. It's a behemoth of a book, but I'd use it as a primary resource when reading up on your gate activations or reading up on an upcoming transit. There's like five to 10 pages or even more on each gate and a copy is gonna set you back about 20 bucks. The gates slash gene keys are deeply informed by the I Ching, and my favorite transmission of the 64 hexagrams is written by Diane Stein. Her book, The Quan Yin Book of Changes, is sadly out of print, but I've had no trouble locating copies at indie bookshops like The Strand and Powell's. Stein's telling is matriarchal and treats each hexagram like a narrative, which I think is a really super effective way of sharing the wisdom of the I Ching and a lovely counterpoint to some of the patriarchal interpretations I've read in the past. Betabel Wen, author of my favorite book on tarot, The Holistic Tarot, is releasing her own exploration of the I Ching in June entitled I Ching, The Oracle. I've already pre-ordered. Holistic Tarot is an investigator's dream of a reference text. It's so thorough and so well-researched, and I cannot wait to get her take on the 64 hexagrams. And if you're as excited as I am, definitely pre-order it wherever you get your books. Years ago, I used to work for a publisher, and pre-orders are really helpful to the author. Finally, there's the Book of Lines by Parkin. Parkin's view of the gates is very much through the human design lens. So each hexagram gets about a page of text and it's dedicated to exploring that gate's themes across those six lines. And attention is paid to when the placement is exalted and when it's in detriment. Another bonus, he breaks down the degree span each gate line combo inhabits, which is really helpful because some gates span two zodiac signs. And I've definitely pulled out this text and trying to figure out which of the two signs is governing maybe a specific placement for my clients. So that's it for the Gates edition of books to help you dive down the birth chart alchemy rabbit hole. Stay tuned for part three, Astro Edition.